If anybody was wondering who's picking up all those knockoff toys on eBay, it's this guy here. Yes, the second box we're gonna get opened up. It's about the same sized box as the previous box of knockoff Chucky figures that we looked at on this channel. Could this very well be, this box right here, be the worst knockoff bootleg toys of horror figure icons? We shall open up the box and find out. And I have already technically cut open the box, and yet I assure you that I've not looked at the contents inside whatsoever, waiting for my initial reaction doing it on camera here. I would also like to apologize for the previous video as we looked at the knockoff bootleg Chucky figures. I certainly didn't want anyone to think that I was making uh, direct comments towards the Mexican culture. Simply was a case that these were Mexican toys sold in Mexico. They were made of a lesser quality and of course they were knockoff toys. Same thing can really be said for these ones. Uh, these were advertised as being Mexican knockoff horror figures. I think I think verbatimly that's even what the title said. So I basically am only basing this video and my opinions of the video based on the information that's in provided in front of me. I don't mean to, like I said, make any effect, take any, I hope that nobody takes offense to me calling these uh, knockoffs from Mexico because that's essentially what these are. Now, funny enough, actually a couple of people even messaged me on Facebook. You can also message me over on Facebook if you want. I can put that information down below. Somebody had asked or had saw these on eBay and asked me if I'd be curious to pick them up. Well, funny enough, sir, thank you very much for the gentleman that had reached out to me. I had already picked up these and I even mentioned it in the reply back to him on Facebook that I had already picked those up and that reviews, yes, reviews of these will follow. Uh, these could very well be, I, I say that every single time we look at these, but these could easily be some of the worst, if not the worst, knockoff figures, doesn't really matter where they're from, but the knockoff horror figures that we've ever seen. Uh, I first draw your attention to what I guess could be Michael Myers. It's rather interesting, these molds, because I don't think they're actually taken from anything. Clearly, the Chucky ones were taken from NECA molds. These ones, on the other hand, I don't know if they come from anything. They could be 100% genuine, as genuine as genuine, <laughs> as genuine as these could be. These could be probably this brand new molds. Uh, here we have Michael Myers. Uh, yeah, I mean... The head sculpt, in the credit of the figure, it's not terrible. It looks like it's been painted with somebody with their eyes closed, but still, it's not a terrible looking rendition of Michael Myers. The hair is brown and the mask is white. The boilers, the coveralls, are all blue. Kind of a metallic blue as well. Somebody has gone very, very... Uh, generously on the black paint they're filling in all these little, little wrinkles and creases and stuff on it and it's saturated once again with blood on the front which seems to be the calling card for a lot of these they're horror characters so let's splash a whole bunch of paints over top of them again the head sculpt isn't terrible uh, it does have at, at the very least some posability the head the arms nothing apparently in the waist there's the undersides of the feet. It looks like a dog has chewed up on these. I hope that no animal has laid their teeth into these or any child put these in their mouth. Once again, I don't feel like the paint is probably the healthiest. And that not necessarily is any derogatory comment towards a culture that would have made these simply by the fact that I know many of these knockoff toys really have really cheap, in some cases, really bad unhealthy paint on them. So I do this, certainly, I show the videos for these for you guys, for your entertainment. And truthfully, truth be told, there's some bit of a charm to these that I can't, it's hard to describe, and yet I get so excited when I see these on eBay. I see a new knockoff series of bootleg figures, bootleg figures, and I immediately want to pick them up. Yes, I know, I, 
I dropped, there it is, I dropped the chainsaw. Not that Michael Myers ever had really sported a chainsaw. I don't really know what's, what's even going on with his hands. Kind of looks like the gloves that Alexa Bliss wears in the WWE. But apparently a chainsaw and a, a knife, a very large knife, is Michael's weapons of choice. It's a rather thick chainsaw as well. I don't know what this would have originally come from. But uh, there is Michael Myers for your enjoyment, your viewing pleasure. You can see that there are probably, I think one, I want to say there's about six figures in here. And we're going to, again, pull these out and have a look at these. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I did now see images of these online. I obviously, I did see pictures of these when I ordered them. It wasn't a case where, there we go, focus camera. It wasn't simply a case where the uh, the posting was just in black. It's the big black screen and it said, knock off toys. No, I did see pictures, the seller was very nice enough to post images of what these look like. So I sort of had a feeling of what I could kind of, I knew what I was getting into. And yet, physically getting these in hand, I'm amazed with how bad these actually are. I'm going to assume this is Tiffany. Ooh. You kind of have to question the taste in women that Chucky has if this is appealing to him. Again, I don't know if this was taken from any existing mold. She was wearing at least her leather jacket, and they, would, they took the time to paint in her dress, her white wedding dress. But it is pretty bad. Looks like she's got collagen. Is it collagen? A little Botox in her lips there. I'm no expert when it comes to cosmetic surgery. I'm keeping myself as pristine and original as, I, as the day I was born, but... That is a that is a rough. That is what you would call, my friends, a sore for sight eyes. And no, it's not the other way around when you want to talk like this. Uh, the arms, do they have posability? Uh, I don't think so. I think her hands, it can be also safe to say, proportionately, nothing on her is accurate. Her head I, almost even looks like it was taken from another figure. The arms are way too small. You can kind of see the seam line in which these were made in the mold. Again, oh, the head does move, okay. The arms, no, nah, the arms don't seem like they want to move. Does she come with any accessories other than, of course, her sheer beauty? No. No, she does not. Oof. <laughs> oh, 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 that's, that's a rough one. That is a rough one. And again, I don't think I'm misleading this in any way, shape, or form. I mean, you, anyone watching these could probably see the same thing I'm seeing, that these are pretty bad. Even like the plastic in which they came in uh, are of a very cheap, cheap plastic. These plastic bags rip very, quite, very, very easily. Okay, so let's move on. I feel like it's Christmas morning. <laughs> and again, this brings enjoyment to me in a way I couldn't even describe, couldn't even begin to describe to you. They're gruesome, but there's something charming I must say about them. This is Jigsaw, or it could be Amanda, from the movie Saw. To the credit, not a bad head sculpt. At least, at the very least, they sculpted a robe, and although the robe is, of course, attached to the feet, You've got this, all this extra plastic that has just come out from the mold itself. There's the undersides of the boots. It does have the blade, although it kind of looks like it's more or less spatula than anything else. Flipping pancakes is what Jigsaw does when, of course, he's not putting people into their traps. I don't know if the arm was melted. It looked like it almost got squished in a printing press. But at least, at least, the head sculpt is acceptable. It's covered in red. I mean, really, all... Actually, you know what? Tiffany wasn't covered in red, but she was just covered in ugly. Ugly. Posability on this one. The, head, the arms rotate back and forth. Head seems to rotate back and forth. Once again, they love their black panel outlining. They put panel lining on all of this figure. Or they've simply just taken a wet brush of black paint. <laughs> Just kind of wiped off the excess so it would only fill in the little cr creases there. 
could be one of the better ones. And that's not saying a whole lot. By the way, none of these seem to be standing upright. Only Michael successfully has managed to stay upright. We push forward in what, again, could be some of the worst. I might even just put that in the title. Some of the worst knockoff bootleg horror figures on the market today. My adventures continue. Somebody says, would you, would you do more of these? Absolutely. Just seem like I'm, I'm attracted to these as soon as I see them on eBay. Comes with a hunting knife. I don't think it's the same. No, it doesn't seem the same knife as Michael's knife. Uh, this is Ghostface from the Scream franchise. I was going to say he's got an plastic. Let me just remove that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's, that's your phone. Kind of looks like a juice box. It looks like a little drinking box. I wonder what's inside. Maybe it's fruit punch. Let me give him his knife if it can fit into his hand. Oh! Oh! No. No, it does not. I exaggerated that a little bit more than what I should have, but no, it doesn't fit inside his hand. His hand just doesn't open enough. Well, I mean, it looks like the sun has melted him. I have to quickly tell myself, well, Scream Ghostface does kind of have a face like that. Okay, duly noted. Uh, it looks like he's been painted with cake frosting. Of course, the rest of his body is all black. I don't know if it's been painted black or if it just simply came out of the mold black. It has this, I don't even know what's all over this. Looks like peanut butter. Looks like somebody was holding him, just finishing off a peanut butter sandwich. Just kind of holding him, painting his face with cake frosting. Not one of the better ones. Still think, not one of the worst either. I might still award that to Tiffany. Not that that's a title award that a figure should be entitled or deserving of. We move on to Pennywise the Clown. Now this one seems good. This one seems like it, there could be potential for it. It comes with a balloon, but the balloon is not red. Instead, they've opted for a purple balloon. That's different, but that's okay. Uh, this is the 2017 Pennywise. They all sort of get that feel, that vibe when I'm looking at it, like a dog has chewed away at these. The, the quality of the paint is certainly not some of the best I've seen. I don't know what color they were going with. It was just like mud, maybe. This is probably clearly a case where they've painted the figure while the figure was still wet. So some of the paint, luckily, which not has come off any of which onto my fingers, but it looks like the paint was already wet and they just simply added more paint to it. The head sculpt is passable. Some consistency, I'm sure, with all the things I've said about all these figures so far, they're consistently passable. They're not great, but again, if you dig sort of this sort of figure, the charm and the appeal, I see it. You may not see it. I personally see it. Let's see if we can get the balloon into his hand. Get that, at the very least, into Pennywise's hand. Again, I feel like the hole in the hand is not big enough to support the balloon. I could probably take a knife and... <laughs> I dare not say would want to damage the figure, but I would want, wait, maybe want to open the hole in the hand just a little bit more. It, it doesn't fit into this hand. Seems to only want to fit into this hand, but the hand hole is just not big enough. It just is not big enough. So we'll just leave it be. We'll just leave it be with the other pile of accessories over here that I can't do anything with. Uh, this guy does have head posability. Again, I'm not really sure what mold these. These must be, they're brand new molds. Unique to their own line, if you can call this really a line of figures. Uh, certainly, I'm not implying that all Mexican toys look like this. I mean, there's great toy examples of everything. I mean, again, you can go into a flea market. Here in Canada, I can go into a flea market and find terrible, cheap knockoffs of stuff. Doesn't mean that the entire company, well, I guess maybe that entire company would make toys like that. Certainly don't want to. Many people said, oh, just you don't like the Mexican culture. No, I 
that's not not it at all we're just just looking at toys that just happen to be really 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 bad i like the eyes though i mean that's that's something i dig the eyes they've again tried their best to paint the the mouth i i, I don't know what's going on with the mouth it sort of has it this one's going the right way this one's either decided to stop and grab something to eat or it's lost instead of going straight up. I mean, your destination is right up there, line. I don't know where you're going down here. You're, you're going right into his eyeball. Pennywise the clown, everybody. Does he stand? All right, we got three out of five that can so far stand. I'm gonna wrap this video up on what I hope to be a high. This is the Annabelle doll. Trying to think of all the ones that the first bootleg figures, the knockoff figures we looked at, I think had Jason. It had Leatherface. I think it had Freddy Krueger. So really, I guess you could say that this is a series two. And what a series it is. Ooh, what a garish looking head sculpt. Now, I'm just going to reach down here and I'm going to grab Tiffany. I'm going to look at the two and I'm going to think, which which is the worst one? I mean, both are dolls, yes. Both are evil, yes. Both are female dolls. Okay, sure. I might even say, of the two, the better one is Annabelle. I mean, it's by such a small margin, but... I mean, that is just a... Oh! Oof! Oof! It's terrible, terrible head sculpt. We'll just lay her down. We don't need to be looking at that anymore. So, I mean, this one's done pretty good. I mean, it's got the paint there around the cheeks. The lips are done in red, and the little bows there on the hair are done red. At least proportionately, the arms are of the proper length, unlike Tiffany's arms, which were really small, stumpy little arms. Annabelle, at least, does have longer arms. She has, hello, hello in there. It's just like a big black hole. There's nothing in there. There's no legs. But I guess that's all it really needs to do. If it can stand, mission accomplished. All right, it can stand. That's all we really need for this toy to really do. Does it have head posability? It sure does. It doesn't seem to have anything in the way of the arms. By the way, the plastic, it's hard to describe. It would be almost the consistency of black licorice. Slightly rubbery, slightly soft. And really all the figures. I kind of Michael, yeah, same idea too. He's got a bit of the softer plastic. So they're all kind of made out of this... I don't even know what you would describe the plastic as being. And like, like I said, melted licorice, black licorice, melted rubber. Maybe it's made by recycled tires. I don't know. But they're certainly not great figures. And yet, I love these things. I adore these, you wonderful specimens of bootleg figures. And you can't really even call them bootlegs or knockoffs. I guess they're knockoffs. What would define a knockoff? It doesn't have to necessarily be a casting of an original mold. I guess knockoffs are really anything that's licensed, a toy that's based on a licensed property that isn't officially licensed, I guess is the best way to describe a bootleg or a knockoff. I think my favorite of the batch, of the lot, I may be slightly biased for saying this, is probably Michael Myers. It's not a great figure. Certainly, it could be said that none of these are great figures, but, but, I think he's the best of the lot. Let me know down below. What do you think is the best of the lot? What is the best figure from this Series 2 lineup of knockoff horror figures? They were from Mexico. Doesn't really matter where they were from. Yeah, pretty bad. And yeah, I still love these. Today we were having a look at some more bootleg knockoff, not the real thing, pretty bad looking toys I picked up on eBay. Will this adventure continue? Well, you certainly will have to stay on to this channel. Stay tuned to this channel. Hit that little subscribe button if you haven't done so already to see if I pick up more of these. I'm always on the search, always checking eBay on a regular basis, that as soon as an auction pops up just like this, you can bet if they're sold, they're likely sold to this guy right here. Again, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below, my friends, my colleagues, viewers of the interweb. Certainly more videos, not quite like this, 
but certainly more videos will be coming soon to this channel. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.